want to fight? Oh yeah, you know, no, I, I live, I live in New York. I'm born and raised there. Went to college there. Never left. And so, the fact that I haven't been able to fight in my hometown over these last uh, seven years of fighting has always been a, a bummer and just kind of crazy. Since you can fight everywhere else in the world, so um, for it to finally be legal there is gonna, it's gonna be a dream come true to be able to fight there. Can't wait. Not just for me, but all the fans and friends, my family, everybody who's had to travel so much and spend all this money traveling. Now they could just take a, a you know a train ticket right into Madison Square Garden, right into Penn Station, and walk upstairs to Madison Square Garden. So it's uh, it's a great great uh, great time for everybody. What's the environment like in the camp right now with the legalization having happened in New York? Oh, everybody's pumped. Everybody's very very excited. Um, it's weird, you know, we've all been illegals, you know, we're, we're, we're walking around New York and, you know, we're doing an illegal activity for a living. It's kind of embarrassing sometimes to have to explain that to people. And uh, you, you come from like a guilty, guilty, guilty uh, side of the coin. So it's nice to finally know that I'm in a legitimate sport and, I'm, and, I'm, and it's legal. So, what were your thoughts to the arguments that they compared it to, like slavery and child molestation and police brutality on the floor? Like, what, what did you think about that? I thought that was, you know, I always heard things like that because I was always I was lobbying for MMA in New York. I would go up to Albany and I'd talk to some of these assemblymen and some of the um, senators, and it was always overwhelming amount of support. But I would hear about other people's conversations in the rooms, in the back rooms, where no one else heard. And you would hear these certain things that they said that, that these people were, were saying. And for them to finally say it publicly, I was just like, wow. They're, they're just making, it just shows how desperate they are to, to uh, there, have, there has to be someone with a thumb pushing on them to say the things that they were saying. They can't believe the things they were saying. And they can't actually believe it. They're just, they're saying it because they're being told to say it.